even get to Ross. Burn all y'all motherfuckers! There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Rubin's vault? Shit. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> I've got to pay for his wedding to Pasa Flora once. I need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. No, it's literally a bit. Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Riven runs a bathhouse. Careful though. He's a dangerous character. I don't doubt it. The dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry it. Let me know as soon as you learn him. It's a big ass fucking bathhouse. What do you mean it looks like? There? Open up. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Rubin that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. <laughs> I uh, know, hell no, I don't trust no darkness, nigga. Fucked up. God damn it, man. So I was the fucking bath after God, dude. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Oh, hello. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't Damn. Lovely. 
Look at them legs. Give me here. Yeah. Greetings, and extended in peace. Just a fucking talk We're wasting time, and this is a simple matter. Yes. <laughs> huh? Uh huh. What? Oh. Easy, Cleaver. All son Junior is a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Oh, it's about to be a fucking bathhouse brawl in this bitch. That nigga buff as a bitch! <laughs> Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? N oh! I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. He don't know shit about a witcher, do it. Oh, oh. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Nobody hits a woman. I want the axe. Are you serious? Damn it. First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Oh my god, if he don't shut up, he's pissing me off. Ugh. You know what? <laughs> Bitch. Burn all y'all motherfuckers! Beat the shit out of you! Beat the shit out of you! Beat the shit the shit out of you motherfuckers! Eat my sparks! Bitch. Beat them! Beat Back up, back up. Right. Oh shit. Ah! Ah! What the? No! Get the weapon! There we go. Burn it. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that. <laughs> this weapon is awesome! Or about the business. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Dang! Oh, fuck. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior is going to help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver, perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Horson's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise while I stand him to horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. 
And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want a fine horse, son? Find me first. Oh, police connect. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy, it's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people, and he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Thank God I ain't gonna fight that nigga.